Okay, everybody wants to know what do I do. Okay. I served in the Army National Guard, United States Army, and uh, had my own company, worked for the CIA. So now I get a retirement uh, package, basically, from the government and stuff. So I got a nice retirement, but I also do uh, stock markets in my spare time to generate income. But for me to move around, this is what I do during the week. I volunteer for different programs. One of the programs that I volunteer for is Food on Wheels. Now, Food on Wheels also now does uh, dog food for people that's on Food for Wheels. The elderly now get dog food for their dogs, for their pets and biscuits for their pets so this is what one of the volunteer services that i do i'm a driver now why am i doing this video well mills on wheels is always looking for drivers they're always looking and if you want to help out go to your local food on your food on wheels so i'm going to go into the video and uh, subscribe if you want to or thumbs up thumbs down gee you're done no i'm just going with the thumbs up thumbs down look all around but anyways or leave a comment so here we go this is just a wonderful program that god is so good to, and i really appreciate to being able to get on the program and i really value it very much and it's just wonderful and anyone that, you know, that's given to it, they don't realize how much they're helping people that's really in need. It's Bills just on wheels. Wonderful. It's pretty wonderful. We really enjoy it. We really have. And I say it's just a way to touch people's lives. You know, I mean, you have one-on-one -on -one contact with them. You get to know them. Yeah. They look forward to seeing you. We look forward to seeing them. And when we don't, you know, when the program starts, stops at the end of the summer, we really miss it and look forward to it. My husband was having to do everything plus taking care of me because I'm in a wheelchair and uh, it was just getting to be too much and he can buy us the groceries and cooks and you know he, he's 88 years old so that's, that's quite a bit but uh, I received a food box uh, from uh, Interface Ministries. Real nice program. Matter of fact it's a wonderful program because with my income I do have to watch uh, in paying bills and to make sure that I have, you know, the, the things that I really need to eat. We've been with the program for about a year, breaking meals, and if there's a disaster or, uh, you know, uh, storm brewing or anything, they always bring extra food, and uh, we're just pretty well covered, and the two meals that we do are, you know, are simple. We, we, we eat sandwiches, and sometimes he cooks, and if he feels like it, mm -hmm. and, uh, Breakfast is very simple. Mm -hmm. So lunch, I guess, was the most important meal. And they'll bring that. So uh, I, I have to feel good. good. In addition to just you know like giving money, this I mean we're we're actually physically here. We're making we feel like we're making a difference because we're seeing the people. We're serving the food, and they're they're smiling. They're telling us thank you. So it's kind of a it's an additional satisfaction that we wouldn't otherwise get. I think it's a very worthwhile program and it certainly helps a lot of people. And uh, anyone that would like to, to help the people that need help, well, I would encourage people to, to uh, uh, get involved. But I, I would certainly hope to see more people volunteer or donate. Say it's a it's a great opportunity to uh, to give back to the community on a uh, not just a corporation but as an individual. So I would say give, give, give if you can afford to give. give uh, it just it would just be a blessing to someone that uh, you know can't buy groceries. And you can see that some people that's really living in a lower poverty. Uh, it would really be a help to them. 
It really would. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. What would you do if you couldn't afford to feed your pets? Find out what Interfaith Ministries is doing to help homebound seniors. That's coming up right now on Animal Life. Alcorn is a senior citizen who lives alone. She's unable to do daily activities that you and I often take for granted. Well, I'm wheelchair bound and it's hard to get around. So I, I, I do stay at home a lot. And shares her home of 36 years with Coco, two other dogs, and a cat. They're like my children because I don't have any children, so they're my children. They're spoiled rotten. Of the 4,000 Meals on Wheels clients Interfaith Ministries serves, she's one of 600 that also receives a week's worth of pet food once a month. Coco. But if the program didn't exist, Coco. They, they would go hungry because I wouldn't have the money to, to buy my food and their food too. And Meals on Wheels is a supplemental pet food program. In addition to not being able to really prepare the meals for themselves, they also had very limited resources and an inability to provide those meals for their pets, who they love so much. Since its inception close to eight years ago, the Anna Meals on Wheels program has helped thousands of homebound seniors keep and feed their pets. They have better f dry food, and uh, that, that helps me when I don't have the money to buy their food. We need more than 10,000 pounds of pet food every month just to run the program. Interfaith Ministries is always in need of wet and dry dog and cat food, and they happily accept anything from treats to kitty litter to help these families stay together. For our program, you have to live within our service area. you typically over the age of 60, unable to prepare your own meals or have anybody else who can prepare those meals for you. Um, live isolated, typically what we refer to as being homebound. And you must be a registered Meals on Wheels recipient like Ann. I, I'm thankful for the program because I can keep my pets. And they mean so much to me. And if the program wasn't in place, I would probably have to give them up. Thank you for the Learn how to donate kids. pet food, volunteer, or find out if you qualify for the program by calling yeah. Interfaith Ministries of Greater Houston at the number listed below. For Animal Life, I'm Mira Nandlal. Mm -hmm.